I grew up in an apartment, so it was different. We wasn't in a home, but we was a family. My name is April Lawson. I am 43 years old. I'm from Dayton, Ohio. My mom, she's alive. She just had a sickness and so my aunt raised me since I was from five and she probably still raising me now. I guess for me, Women Build is, is more that just women helping women at its root. I'm a mom, I'm a woman in business and that idea of being in a situation where I can't put a shelter over my kids' heads is what really drew me to the program. And I think what's been so amazing for me is just getting to see how many women in Dayton specifically are coming out to help other women that are going through a challenging time and be able to support them and bring them up here in this community. I have two little boys, Antoine, who's 11, Aiden, who is eight years old. They were both preemies. And my oldest, he was born at one pound, four ounce, at 25 weeks. So, you know, he's my miracle. Elias C. Brooks is digging deeper into how a fire started in a vacant home and left one Dayton family with nothing. On January 10th, about, I think, seven or eight o'clock, the neighbors knocked on the door telling me to get out of my house. The, the house that was next door was on fire, and it caught my house on fire. And lo I lost everything. I think everybody, Ginger, Zach, Dennis, since I told everybody that what happened, they made me feel that it's like, it's okay, they got me. And to this day, I can still go over there and talk to them and laugh with them. Habitat is a place where you become a family. A habitat is a place where if you are tired of landlords, if you're tired of living in apartments, you're tired of rent going up, you just want something that's yours, Habitat will make a way. Habitat for Humanity of Greater Dayton empowers future home buyers um, by giving them the opportunity to purchase a home through non-traditional means. There's three main requirements that uh, need to be executed in order for our families to be successful in the home ownership program. Uh, the first and probably the most challenging is the sweat equity requirement. Uh, families need to complete a minimum of 275 hours of volunteer sweat equity, either building homes for other families, building their own home, and then also that can be completed by uh, helping out in our restore. That's probably the one that's the most challenging for our families because uh, they don't always have a lot of time to be able to do that volunteer piece. So it's really up to them to, to find that time in their schedules and, and kind of lean into the partnership and find the, uh, the, the time they need to, uh, to volunteer with us and to help other families achieve success with Habitat. The second requirement is the uh, education classes. So that's about 50 hours of education that they'll need to complete in order to be successful. And then the third requirement is uh, saving $2,000 uh, for their first year of taxes and insurance uh, once they purchase the Habitat home. It's gonna change my life because I know that this is my home versus the house that I'm renting now is theirs. So I gotta go by their rules. But this is my home so I can make my own rules. This program is a game changer for a family financially. Being able to get a home at 0% interest is just unheard of. <laughs> and it takes something that is completely not achievable for a family like this to be achievable. It puts it within the zone that allows them to successfully pay for a mortgage and then also start to think about other things. You know, in a lot of cases, just having a shelter over their head has been the number one priority for some of these families. And when you take that fear and that stress out of a family's life, they can start thinking of other things. They can start thinking of savings and they can start thinking of higher quality food for their family. Um, being able to make sure that their car is in good operation, which allows them to keep going to work every day. Just sort of putting a cap on how much money is going out just to cover shelter for their family is um, the opportunity for this family to not only 
start to look at other things, but also to be able to put themselves in a better position in the future, right? They're building equity in these homes and one day they will sell this home and move on to another one or pass this down to their children or, um, you know, it gives them something rather than just throwing money out every month for rent that they don't get back. One of my favorite things is to see the children, their reactions the first time they see that brand new house. To say, hey, did you pick your room yet? Or they grab your hand and they say, come see my room. To know that they've already, right, that that's already in their heart. This is my room. This is my place. You know, and a lot of times they're showing you their backyard. We've had, uh, where there was a young man whose mom purchased a house. He was excited about the backyard because he wanted a garden. He was 10 years old, but he'd never had a garden. Now he could because it was their house. It's not about trying to raise this much money or, you know, this, this or that. It's about how many partners really can understand our mission, understand how it works, and then want to help us achieve it. And the more partners we can bring together, the more we can achieve and the more people we can help. My kids are my inspiration. Without them, I can't make it. Because at the end of the day, I'm a mother first. I did this for them. I made this for them.